Hey, what's up, guys? I think one. Do you know this is six months? Six months of you what? As always, I've been doing this every week. My name is Jace, and I am joined by. Last week, he had a few things that he didn't appreciate being called. So I thought this time I'll try and come up with some stuff that works. So he is the Ken to my Ryu. H- how's that? You right, Squeak? Uh, yeah, that's the, that's fine. And that... you know, uh, I've done some yoga, some meditation. So you're a lot more chill this week, yeah? I've been flying along the astro planes. <laughs> and uh, yes, indeed. The thing is, I, I was trying to think of stuff this morning, and all of the pairings I came up with, there was always like one sort of above the other. So I found it quite hard to find one that was like a level plane. Yeah. But, because it's one of those where I was thinking, you know, the, the Tails to my Sonic or the Luigi to my Mario, they're not, they're not equal. No, that is quite true, actually. I was going yeah. to say you were the Daisy to my Peach, but I just feel like those two weren't actually linked. They were just two separate princesses from different arcs. So... Uh... No, that is quite true. I've never thought of that as them not being equals. You're the Scouse to my Farmer. And I was going to say I'm not a farmer. <laughs> but I'm not Scouse either, so... <laughs> well, you know, I could always see it. <laughs> How's your week been? Uh, good, like I say, I've been locked my chakras. Okay, is, is there anything you've been playing in particular? We were playing um... Rainbow. We had a bit of a, a a play on, did we not? That was a good time testing it out the straight. Twitch stuff. Yeah, just cool seeing how it actually works out. Which yeah, it works quite seamless. Which is I was, good. I was gonna say it works pretty well. Like no, it's that is the, actually the first time that I've tried that since it's actually been implemented. Hmm. And uh, yeah, went good. But like you say, we need to get we need to get Stein in, get him raging, and just rage compilation. Well, what I'll do is I'll I'll get uh, Stein in on a Smite stream. He's been back on Neverwinter. He still gets raged at Neverwinter, but not on the same level as Smite. Yeah, that so is Smite is a good time. And bad time for him, but good time for us. You called me out for uh, you called me out for calling out Stein so often. <laughs> Yeah. And, and you mentioned him. And I mentioned him. I did it intentionally. You have an addiction. I don't have an addiction. Have an I'm addiction. not addicted to Stein. <laughs> I beg to differ. That would be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, so there's been... The reviews have come out this week um, for Quantum Break. So obviously the game's due out the day before my birthday. Throwing it in there again. Boom. So on Tuesday, um, tomorrow, you know, Magic of Podcasts, April the 5th is the... Th- third or fourth way I'll describe the date. Quantum Break is out and there's been quite a few of the reviews have, have popped up on um Metacritic. So it's it's quite mixed. I mean what I will refer to as I ooh, I don't know, like I'm looking at it and mm-hmm. there's there's some people I think the the rating view thing on here is weird anyway. So for example it says the top one says Digital Spy gave it a hundred but then Digital Spy have said in the description um, oh, where is it? So if they dial back the Gorgonzola, the product placement, and adjust the, over, the that cover mechanic, this would have been a perfect game. So if they're saying it's not a perfect game, why is it on Metacritic? It's been given the perfect score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it seems like it's getting pretty good reviews. Um, people just talking about, you know, is it going to be, is it going to revolutionise gaming and sort of stuff like that. I mean, personally, when I saw it looked like a nice game. But it's not a game that I went, oh, I want to play this. I was going to say, I've not, like, I feel almost as if there's been, like, made up hype around this because I haven't felt anything towards it, like, coming out. I've not been like, oh, I want this game. Mm. I've not heard anyone go, oh, I want this game. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and I'm not saying people aren't going to be hyped about it, but it just feels a bit, I don't know. Like, I'm hearing it. But I'm not seeing anything of it. Like yeah. So looking looking through like IGN give it an 80, uh, Games Radar gave it 70. There's like loads of different different ones. Telegraph gave it 60. Gamespot gave it 60. Uh, is that Time Magazine gave it 40? So it's just one of those where like you know it is quite spread. So I guess it is down to the person that plays it. It just might be one of those games that 
it is for a certain type of player. Because the thing is, yeah. like I said to you when I was getting raged on the weekend, and you were like, Jay, just play a single player. And I'm like, I just, I, I don't really enjoy single players anymore. Like, I'll play some stuff and it's okay, but it is that kind of competition edge of being better than somebody else, or in a lot of cases not being better than somebody else, that gets my heart going, you know? Yeah, yeah. So, I, no, I, I get that, because I mean, like, when we was playing um, Rainbow. Yeah. You know? Do you, do you know what? I'm just going to say it from now. Baked needs to uninstall Rainbow. Wow. Well, like, you know, twice. Twice. No, it was three times in the end. It was three times. Because... So he's got to uninstall it, reinstall it, <laughs> uninstall it, reinstall it, and then uninstall uninstall. it again. Yeah. Wow. Because, you know, I did say from the beginning, I was like, oh, you know, guys, I'm not good at this game. I know I'm not good at this game. Anybody that comes below me needs to uninstall the game. And Baked consistently came below me. And then, and then there was the fact that I swear, like, I was second on one of the games. So, you know, James and Will also have to. The only person I'd never got a higher score than was you. Well, you know. <laughs> Just brushes his shoulder off. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> what, you Feeling like a pimp, squeak, <laughs> on, brush his shoulders off. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, it's one of those where Quantum Break, it does look like a cool game. The thing that they've, obviously, getting the actors in and, like, it looks really good. Having Peter Baelish in there and stuff. Having, what's his name, Bobby? The Iceman from the X-Men. Yeah. You know. The, th- the thing is, it... it... It does look quite nice, but even then, I'd say the graphics don't really like blow me away. They're not like. I th- I think it was um I it's think just... it was it might have been Digital Spy. I'm not sure which review it was, but one of them basically said that the the live action sequences are good, but it kind of disconnects from the game when you get the live action sequence. Okay, yeah, yeah. So you sort of lose that immersion. Yeah. Which... Really, in a single player, is what you're looking for, isn't it? When you think about it, you want to be sucked into that because it's not, like you say, you're not competing for anything. You're not competing against other people to be better than them. So you want to be sucked into the story and feel like this shit is going down. I think it'd be interesting to see how they've done the time bending thing because time bending's been in gaming for a while and I'm not impressed by time bending because, you know, we had Prince of Persia that done it, but then it even got to a point where in Forza you can do it, you know? If I take a corner and I take it really badly and crash, I can press that button and rewind time and do it again. Yeah. So. <laughs> I think of a few others that have done it. I think, I think, um, ooh, you know what I did see on about time bending? Ooh. It just made me think of bullet time. But it, it like, I saw a, a Fallout mod that had bullet time and it looks so much better than that's. But, um, yeah, okay. anyway, that's kind of a bit off topic. <laughs> but, but it did look really good. Okay. Um, so I'm hoping. I seen that as as we've mentioned it. I seen that there was a, um uh obviously they've still been like modding like Skyrim and stuff, and I, I seen somebody had done one that had like uh Thomas the Tank Engine as the dragons. Oh uh, yeah, that one's Amazing. quite old. Is it, it old? Is it? Oh, I seen yeah. it the other day. I was like, yeah, because I seen the Randy Savage one. Oh uh, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there's level people that are putting like Thomas the Tank Engine as like um death claws and all sorts in Bethesda games. Just yeah, quite a laugh. I wish we need to learn to mod. I feel like we could make a good mod. Like I feel like I'd make a mod and I'd find a way to like put you in the game. Wow. And like have like so when you're in Skyrim, like the chickens have like a human sized head and it's your face. Like gurning. Why would you want that? And gurning, I do not gurn. I just that. I just feel like that would be something that would be so noteworthy that like you couldn't miss it. So it'd just be like it, I'd call it like the mystery you want mod. And people are like, what is this? Put it in. And they, they, there's nothing. I, I can't see anything to do with this mod. Walk into a village, and then the chickens just look fucked up. Like chicken bodies, like normal. Then just a human head gurning at them. Or they should have but I don't know if I'd pick chicken. full head of hair squeak or a bold squeak. Wow. <laughs> and I don't gurn. That's just my face. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So next news item. Um, the Division's first free DLC incursions have been announced. So it's going to include uh, an end game activity for squad play. So I think they've said it's going to be April the 12th, um, and it's the first of two free expansions. So it's going to have a new end game activity for squad play with the aim to reward teams that are victorious with high level loot. Um, it also adds loot trading, um, and then I think it's called Falcon Lost. So it's set in the underground water treatment plant that is a stronghold for the Last Man Battalion. Okay, so. yeah. Sounds pretty cool. The, the thing is, obviously, we've looked at the calendar and whatnot. I like that they have kind of do the free one to kind of wet people's taste buds to see what the updates can look like. Yeah, yeah. And then, I just, yeah. It's one of those uh, 
for, for me, yeah. I kind of want stuff now. This so, is the thing. So, this is... so, so showing at me and being like, but you've got to wait. <laughs> like, is, that to me is not not the best. But that's the thing me. That's the thing that gives them longevity, isn't it? That's the way. Because otherwise, you get the situation. You've got to think, like, when you guys batted it, and then James was like, oh, you know, I've kind of had enough of this game now. And it's like, how many hours have you clocked in? Like, 30. How long has the game been out? 24. Like, what? Have you even done that? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's stuff like that. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just one of those Let's where, watch. in doing it that way... They do kind of kind of string it out. So it's sort of like with um with the Star Wars game, the Star Wars app that we've that a few of us have been playing, the level cap was sixty, then when we jumped on it went up to seventy and I'm think can't think how many weeks ago that I've reviewed it, but now it's gone up to eighty. So like I'm playing it more again because I've got room to grow. And if they sort of do it it keeps getting compared to Destiny, you know how the level cap's thirty, like later on they might have the gear so that your level goes up higher or you become more strong because of this, that and the other. Well, that's it, some of the stuff they're going to add in. And and the thing is, the level cap is 30, but you get level 31 gear and things like that. Okay. So, yeah, so that's so the thing. It it's is, the way yeah. of giving it that longevity. Otherwise, yeah, you just batter it and then you put it down. And, like, with the DLC, they're going to be adding in um, new, like, gear sets. Okay. Um. So, apparently, when you put on a full set, you get, like, a special ability of some sort. Okay, so, so like, on, um, so on Fallout, when you paint your, um, power armor, like, all of the same yeah. one. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um, so, yeah, so, going on with the whole, like, you know, the, the updates and stuff, the episode two, Sa- Sapienza, has also been given a April release date for Hitman. Um, this one's gonna be available... So if you if you haven't got the season pass, then it's going to be eight quid, um, and it's out April twenty sixth, I believe. Uh, and it's supposed to go from Paris to Italy. Yeah. So you know they've, there's a there's a video that I've seen, yeah, but it's, it's not really showing you the the level, just kind of showing you how nice it looks. The thing is, no, I, all, I've seen a video and it's just like the sky. Yeah. And it going like <laughs> episode two, <laughs> Sapienza. It looks really nice, but uh, but like um, it makes me wonder if it's gonna be one of the levels that they showed off in you know one of the trailers, like where he's yeah I'm in that sort of uh, church tower or whatever it is, the things like that, because that almost looks a little like Italian esque village. Have you been to the thing to to cast your vote? Like you get to choose whether you want to kill Gary Cole or Gary Busey. No, I haven't, because I don't know which one I'd kill. I'd kill them both if I could. Wow. That's... I'm not even on about in the game. I, I know, right? <laughs> like, that's, just... <laughs> that's premeditated. That's definitely premeditated. Yeah. The thing is, I like how the way... I feel like they've been quite strategic in, in the order that they've released the, the places you go around the globe as well. So obviously, what have we had? We've had Paris. We're going to Italy. It's going to be Morocco, Thailand, Japan, and then the US. Oh. So so it's one of those where, you know, like the Americas out there. They will, they will keep getting it just to play Murica. Otherwise, they'll still be playing the game. Then they'll stop, and then they'll download the last episode just because Murica, you know? Yeah. And I think that if Gary Busey is picked, I feel like a lot of people will download the because I'm guessing they're going to be the ones that are the hit on the US mission. I yeah yeah unless they're going to. Why is Gary Busey going to be in Japan? Of, um... Because he's fucking Gary Busey, <laughs> like a crazy old man. Like fucking... as you as you put it that way, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> like Gary Busey does whatever the hell Gary Busey wants to do. Like fucking. Right, Squeak, I'm going to mix up the, the run sheet a little bit because I see I see an order flow into this right now. So I want to quickly go into... We didn't get to speak about it last week because, you know, we had James on. You guys were terrible at the quiz. And... No, we wasn't terrible at the quiz. We had feedback about that. And, in fact, it was the quiz questions, the vagueness, no. and how terrible they were. No, I, I stand by the fact that when you knew what the game was, you understood the clues. So you should be able to get the game from the clues. Running and walking. It was it was actually walking and stepping. Two separate things, mate. You step when you walk, friend. <laughs> but on time crisis, you step on the paddle. Moving on, we didn't you, have time. Well, didn't we didn't paddle? have time to talk about <laughs> the PS4.5. Yeah. So I don't know if you want to give a rundown for the people what that is going to look like or what they have announced. Uh, I've not actually seen a picture of it, so I'm gonna assume 
Have you seen a picture of it? Uh, I'm, I'm more meant the stats. I think it would just look like a PS4, possibly a bit smaller. Um, what? I I don't think it'll be smaller. I reckon it will just literally be a PS4. But um, apparently that they're, they're gonna have a new GPU in it, a uh, graphics processor, if I remember rightly, things like that. But uh, it's gonna output 4K, mm. and they're saying it's gonna output um everything in 4K, but it's going to be upscaled because unless you're like rocking the high end PC, like that's the thing. One of the things, badass PC. One like, of the things that I was reading is that it can already output 4K um, images, like pictures, and I think they said it can do 4K videos, but it was game rendering. It couldn't do it in 4K. Yeah. And and I'm sure it was you that told me that it's one of those things where they've said they're upscaling it, like, and then you're going to have VR and stuff, but the VR only goes up to 1080. Yeah. So. The 4K and and the reason the thing is the pro, extra processing power will actually help the VR sort of part of it and things like that. But in a sense of like visual, uh, like upgrade, like what you're gonna see and notice and stuff like that, um, you won't because it's just 1080p and VR. Jesus, if it, yeah. if it was 4K screens. It won't be able to do it because if you think you've got to have two 4K screens, a lot of people have um, I say a lot of people. Where was I reading it? I think it was Kotaku. They did a a poll, and a majority of people that already own a PlayStation have said they they have no interest in a PlayStation 4.5. It's one of those things where it's a bit too soon to be releasing an upgrade I, to a console. I was gonna say it like you know how I got my PS4. I didn't yeah. buy it. Um, Bingo. I didn't. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't steal it either, people. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. But if Notice I... he didn't deny whether he does or does not play bingo. Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. You know the story behind. <laughs> I know, but they don't. Please. Squeak was playing bingo. I wasn't playing bingo. I don't play bingo. Old lady, old lady won it, and then she donated the prize to him because he looked sad when she won it. Wow. <laughs> Sorry, um, you were saying. <laughs> yeah. But if I bought it, yeah, and I paid out the amount that it, it first cost, mm. and now they're trying to say, oh, yeah, we've got this this new shit, but you you kind of need a new console for it, I'd be I'd be pissed off because it's that thing of, like, you've just made me fork out this much just to go, ha-ha, people, kidded you. That's not the actual thing we wanted to release. So we've just made you pay for, like, some sort of shit that we pushed out the door, and, and now... We're bringing out the good shit that that's we actually thing, wanted. That's like, the thing with like when the when a new console comes out and the killer with it, you know, like everybody's eager to get it, but the people that buy the first lot, the, there's always there will always be an issue with it somewhere. Do you know what I mean? When they start to mass produce and get them out to everyone, that's when you know Xbox 360 had the the ring of death, you know, and then people on PlayStation were talking about PlayStation was omnipotent, but people that had early PlayStations used to get the yellow light of death, and it was the same thing where neither console would work; it would like overheat. Yeah. Um, you know, when when we ended up getting people who got Xbox One when it first came out, there were so many issues. I had twelve of them. Twelve three sixties. Yep. Wow. I think I went through. I went through quite a few. I feel like I had like three or four. Some were due to piracy, but you know, I stand by. It's not a crime. It's a way of life. But and, most of them of mine were Red Ring of Death. And but it's one of those things where then when they released like the the Slim. You know, that they had the perfect working Xbox. It was really good. It, it was really quiet and, you know, you could install your games and stuff like that. And then they've kind of, PlayStation's come out, amazing console. But they've obviously had plans of this next one to obviously keep up with, well, try to close the gap between well, PC and console. It's that, it's that thing to me. What they've done is they've seen Oculus. Hmm. And, cause I swear Oculus was announced way before the PlayStation drop. Yeah. Yeah. It's been in the pipeline for a while. A while. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I, like, I, I think they saw that and went, we want a piece of that cake. And then what they've done is they've gone, they've brought this out, they've made the VR, but then they've gone like, oh, the machine's not really that powerful. Like, to be able to bring VR to people. And yeah. then they've gone, let's make a new machine then. See, I, I, I don't think it's being necessarily planned in a sense of, oh, we'll, we'll hold this one back 
you know I what think, I mean? But I like, think, I, I wonder if it's been the thing where, obviously with PS3, that console was clearly a rushed out console and it just wasn't ready. Yeah. Like, like this one, they've made a decent console, but they had plans to take it further. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So they released one that did work, and now they they can start to do their plan to take it further. Because you can you can bet in f- four years time, five years time, they'll release the PS4 Slim and the Xbox One Slim. I it see, happens every time. I sort of feel yeah. since PS2 has happened. I sort of feel they should almost go like the way of the Steam Box if if this is how they're gonna do things, because. Essentially, you buy a console because it's supposed to be uh, an affordable alternative What you yeah. don't have to fuck about with, you don't have to upgrade, you don't have to keep on top of, like... Maintenance. And if they're going to upgrade it every three years, you may as well buy a PC. Yeah. Buy a PC. It'd be cheaper in the long run. You get the majority of games that aren't exclusive for cheaper. Like, yeah. buy a PC. Or, in... in um. Looking at consoles like like looking at Sony, make your consoles modular. Yeah, That's, I think is I think they worry though about it, when you make it modular and allow people to start fiddling with stuff. It That's, allows people to start. Yeah, various, yeah. No, I do I do hear that, but at the same time, just yeah. Yeah. Well, looking at obviously PlayStation are currently, you know, it's been spoke about the PS4.5. The other day became a sad day. As the death of the PlayStation 2. After 16 years of service, the final servers were closed for the last game that was online, which was Final Fantasy, I think it was 11. Um, so yeah, it was the last game that had its online functionality and descended. So, you know, people have marked that day as the death of the PS2. Do you want to know why it's not? Why is it not? Because I never had online capabilities with the PS2, and that okay. console never died for me. See, so, that's the thing. Because Jeet's obviously saying about about it, um, you know, with the online functions. And this is where I changed the order because it runs quite well. Because one of my favorite games of all time on PS2, which I mentioned before, is Time Splitters 2. Now, do you remember that really terrible game we played called Homefront? Yes. Yeah. Played it a few weeks back on the beta. It was well crafted. The, the substandard game that is. The worst thing is I've seen the trailers for it, and the trailers make it look really good. <laughs> it's not people. <laughs> Don't be fooled. I think Gosh. I think you should you should buy it just to do one of your reviews on it. No, because I'm not spending that <laughs> amount of money on that amount of trash. Like, <laughs> and the thing is, after we've just slated it, we can't even go to them. Hey guys, can we get a review copy? I know, right? <laughs> so, so yeah, the thing that's really cool is Time Splitters Two. There is an Easter egg in Homefront, um, the Revolution. They've they've put in the first two levels from Time Splitters Two's campaign. Really? So yeah, so when you go in there, you basically find this cabinet and you're able to play the first two levels. And one of the things is that part of the team that have made um, Homefront are some of the team that were that made Time Splitters 2. So when there was a few worries about, oh, can they do this? Or well, I think there's a technicality that they can because they were part of the making of that game. Do you know what I mean? They made Time Splitters 2, so it's partially their game, so they're able to put it into a new game they're making as an Easter egg. See, I want to throw it out there now. They shouldn't have made Homefront, and they should have just made new Time Splitters. Do you know what? I I can't agree with you more. I think that I, I'm waiting for that. It's going to come back. The thing that I love is that the game's obviously so terrible that they've released the news of Time Splitters Two being an Easter egg in order to get me to buy the game just to play Time Splitters Two because the game's not even out yet. Yeah, and they're already talking about an Easter egg that's in there. It's not like somebody's gone and found an Easter egg. They're letting people know that it's in there. Yeah, that is a bit... Uh, it's not It's not out until May. That's a bit shifty, isn't it? Like, <laughs> it's like hey, guys. Um, like, it's a big secret in the game. Do you know what I mean? Because I think... But, yeah, I think that's one of those things. They're worried that nobody's going to play their game to find the Easter egg, but it was such a good Easter egg that they're proud of that they had to tell people about it themselves. Uh, it's just a terrible game. The gunplay, the handling, the clunkiness, the graphics... Everything on like graphics don't make a game, but everything is substandard on that game. As far as I've played, they stole the the modding of the guns. They stole from the likes of Crisis, where yeah. you hold a button and you can be like, "Ooh, I'll put a sight on my gun." Stuff like that. No, bad game. Bad, <laughs> bad game. Bad. Well, the the thing is, obviously, that game offends us with its gameplay, but people have recently been offended by Overwatch. 
and I, the provocative nature of one of their characters' poses. See, now, the thing for me is that, like of all things, I understand that there are levels to this shit, but I just feel like if there is a medium that offends you, then stop using that medium. So, for example, the people that used to complain about South Park. Like, why complain about South Park? If it offends you, don't watch it. Family Guy yeah. offends you, don't watch it. Okay, so there's a woman who's posing and her bum is curvaceous. If you don't like it, don't play it. It's one of those things it's... where when you look at all... Sorry to keep talking squeak, but I'm in the middle of a rant here. In all the fighting games and all the Tekkens and the Street Fighters, there's big, muscly men there. None of us go, oh, he makes me look inferior. Get rid of him. We don't do that, do we? But there's just people out there in the world that complain about how somebody looks and it gets taken out of the game. That's <sighs> the thing. I mean, like... I, you, It's that thing nowadays where, like, women have a lot of, like, body image sort of things going on. Careful, mate. What? I feel like that's the nice... You're calling out women. I called out people. Continue, no, though. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in that <laughs> sense. But at the same time, guys also have that. And I yeah. think it's that thing of people don't see it that way. Like, it's, it's fair enough if you're looking on a scale of the whole, like, you know, gender equality and mm. stuff like that. The scales are tipped. Like, I'm not denying that. But at the same time, you know, I don't fucking look like no fucking ripped motherfucker with a six pack with muscles on muscles. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what, so, we're not, we're not but, big tiny. We're not big tiny. Yeah, no, no. but then I, but then I ain't going like, oh, you can't have that image out there. And you like they can argue, oh well, it's not as sexualized. Bullshit! That motherfucker's oiled up. You can <laughs> yeah. see it. Yeah. Like people don't just shine like that. People, they don't just gleam as if like some sort of heavenly glow is coming from them. No. <laughs> There's a thing like you know where do we stop? Did it then become a thing of like you know oh my my hairline's receding? There are people with full heads of hair on games. Everybody has to wear a hat. Yeah, I just think, I think, I, I get what the argument is. It's the whole thing of like, oh, you're overly sexualizing like um, a, a female character. Do you know what I mean? Like that is like the the basis of the argument. Yeah. It's, but just, it's sort of. It's just one of those things where, you know, I think that when it comes to something like the, the sexualization of a character, you can't just question this one person's pose in a game. Yeah. Do you know I what I mean? mean? Dead or Alive? Uh, is it Dead or Alive? Yeah. That that there, that game there, just had like... They had a slider where you could set the jiggliness of boobs. Yeah. But that game still came out. <laughs> it's it's just really odd. It's... Sometimes, like, like I say, like, the scales are tipped when it comes to the whole equality thing. But mm. at the same time, I sort of see it as like... You've got to recognize it everywhere. You can't just specifically pick and choose. Yeah, no, definitely. Um, so if it is a case of that, but then you're you're fucking off and liking some guy, rip guy with his top off, like yeah, you can't call out on the lady who's just got her back to the camera. Yeah. Now, so... you know, on the what I really liked was the picture that um, that we shared on the Facebook page of like Flanders in his in his ski suit. Stupid, sexy Flanders. I love that picture. <laughs> I actually love that picture. Like, I don't care. Like... So talking of sexy people and sexy ladies, um, have you heard that Cortana has been revealed that she's coming in the summer? So apparently they're letting us know the date, but they've just said summer. So they're not really letting us know the date. They're letting us know the season that it's coming. But apparently to celebrate the, the year anniversary of Windows 10, it's, it's coming around then. We're going to about... end up getting Cortana. Mouse support because we've already got keyboard support. The, the thing is, I haven't seen anything on it. In the article I'm reading, this time coming from Digital Spy, and I think it was also over at oh, I don't know if it's PC Gamer. Possibly they mentioned it, which I thought was a bit weird. But yeah, um, they they just basically said that they'll be bringing Cortana to Xbox One. And the thing that they're obviously saying about it is that we've got. They haven't said whether or not you're going to need Connect, but some of those things where it's a back and forth of Cortana, so like you know, like Siri on your phone or um, well on your Google phone when it talks back to you. So it'll be interesting mm. to see how it works because at the moment, you know, I'll be sat having a conversation and my Connect might pick it up and you know send me to the home screen. Or if I'm watching, if I watch stuff on the TV and somebody says something that sounds like Xbox pause, it pauses the video. Annoying stuff like that, but it'd be interesting because if the command changed to Cortana, 
then I that's think that would crazy. eliminate a lot of it. That's the thing. Like, how many Cortanas are there in the world? There we go. But then if you're playing Halo, <laughs> yeah, she's just funny. coming back. But yeah, it's one of those things that would be cool to... Because it's, it's fun how they put Easter eggs. I haven't played with like uh, any Android phones or anybody uh, or any phones that, that have that function. But on Siri, I love the Easter eggs of when you ask it certain questions and its responses. So like when you ask it to tell you a joke, like it will tell you a joke. Ask for a bedtime story, it might tell you a bedtime story. Ask it to marry you, and it would be like, oh, you have no idea how many times I get asked that. Just silly things like that. It would be good to see if I can have bants with my Xbox. See, I was just thinking, like, if I was uh, if I was in 343... I would just troll the shit out of people in the next Halo. I'd ha- I'd just have a saying like Xbox, turn off. Stuff like, that. <laughs> like uh. the, the thing is, like connect. Like I said, it's one of those things where it, it does sound like a really good idea, but they just haven't perfected it yet. They've bought it out for this another console, and they haven't really fixed the issues because you have to have the camera in front of your TV. Like you know, there's not really you can't have it too far from your Xbox. So when you're playing certain things. It's, stuff is said so when playing like fifa they'll talk about the other team making a substitution and if you've got the connect function on it'll start showing you your substitutions that you can choose from yeah and it's, yeah it's just yeah see stuff like that but no it'll be i think it'll be a fun little thing to i i, I bet it'll out really quickly but it'll be fun to play play around talking to cortana um so yeah so moving on to this week's whatsapp so i believe it was a week ago um there's been a lot of stuff going on with superheroes and marvel and Marvel have released a, a sequel to what I feel was a really good um, app that they had. So they had Marvel um, Avengers Alliance that was on like all tablets. You could play it on your Facebook as well, like if it's on the computer. It was a really good game. So the next one came out, and I had high hopes. Um, unfortunately, they didn't. It didn't meet my expectations, and I found it, you know I found that to be quite distressing. Um, it's a it's game where it's yeah, because it's a three v three turn based game. So I quite like stuff that's turn based, you know, that's that's pretty cool there. But it it was it's almost like the stuff that was really good from the first one, they haven't kept it and they've sort of taken that model the apps take and add in so much RNG so that you so that the consumer ends up buying into the game. So it's a three v three game, you start off, it's got the look of it is almost like comic book style. Um but then there's silly things on there like the the sounds, for example. You know, if you if you get hit by somebody, it makes like the tsh sound, as you'd expect. If somebody fires a gun, it makes a gunshot sound. But when you do a big move, there's no, like, it's not a big moment. When you do your special move, it'll just make the same noise that it made when somebody just punched you a minute ago. Do you oh, know what okay. I mean? And it, 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 yeah. it lacks in so many areas like that. The comic style is really cool that they've tried to take it there. Because the last one was 2D, this one's 3D, that's cool. But I kind of feel like it's a bit washed out. So, what's his name? Shocker. And, like, with the with the graphic of Shocker... In like comics and stuff, his chest is almost like almost like chainmail, and you can see like the black lines that like separate each of the parts. But then on this, it's like almost washed out into the yellow. It's like a grey blur over his yellow chest, and it's just one of those things where I just kind of feel like they they haven't put effort into the white areas. Um, they've also got it where the backgrounds are really cool. So you have like depending on where you are, it shows like a skyscraper at one stage. And there's like helicopters and stuff flying past in the background. They look really cool. But what's the point in the background looking really good if if your players in the foreground look rubbish. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because um, it's, it's not really what you're going to be focusing on, is it? No. Really? One of the things that I wonder is, if I had never played the first one, would I have disliked this one, is what I wonder. Because when you start off, you know, as they always do in Marvel, they give you Hawkeye first. So you start off with Hawkeye, and gradually you're, you're adding to your arsenal of um, Marvel characters, and you kind of switch between them in these 3v3s. So what they've added to this one is that you can have like a bench of, I think it's three slots, so that if you're in a fight, and say they, they each have a different attribute, so you know how Pokemon have types, it's sort of like that with Marvel where they've got five different ones, each one has a resistance to one, and is vulnerable to another. Yeah. So yeah. it does. So if you get a person who ends up being vulnerable to the enemy, you can switch them out with somebody else. So, so that's a cool feature that they've added to that. It's basically rock, paper, scissors sort of thing. It, it's a bit like that, yeah. Lizard Spock, they've added in that. So yeah, you can kind of rotate some of the characters, which is a good feature, but the thing that ruins it is that on the first one, you collect like the premium coins and you collect like this different these different currencies and you'd be able to save up and you'd be okay, I will save up until I can buy the Hulk. I will save up until I can buy Iron Man. I'll save up until, I'll save up until. On this one, it gives you premium currency slowly, but it gives you it. 
And then you basically are putting your pound into that machine where you twist the knob, and then the ball rolls to the bottom, and whatever you get in that ball is whatever you get. Okay. And then it's that thing of when you do that, you're not even guaranteed a character. Sometimes you just get a special move. So say you've saved up enough of the premium currency to, you know, play this lottery game, and then you get a special move when really you want a character. And so what's it going to do? It's going to give you Hulk. It's going to give you Black Widow. It's going to give you, uh, I don't know, Doctor Strange. It's going to give you so many people before you get the ones that you want, that you just know it is. Do you know what I mean? And it's just yeah. one of those where they... It's, it's unfortunate that I played the first one. I'd like somebody who's never played it before to, to play, play this it. one and, and then, give me their oh, opinion. Like, because, oh, I think it's amazing. Or, cause, yeah. Because they could find it really good. I just find that with this one, they've put so much RNG in. And like I said, with getting characters, I feel they've done it in a way... So that they can, so that people have to buy into the game. The last one you could grind and save and save, and then buy a specific character, buy Wolverine, buy Hulk, buy War Torn Hulk, buy Hercules, buy whoever. Whereas this one you don't get to choose who you buy. You're just doing a lucky dip every time. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah, which I think is quite poor. So for that reason, this one got a really low. It got a really low three out of ten. So the the mixture of the graphics I feel being washed out. They were better off doing the the really defined 2D graphics from the last one. I feel were better than these 3D washed out comic book style ones like i said the sound on it the music in the background is typical marvel stuff but the sound on it is rubbish the gameplay of oh, the, the mission maps as well sorry to go back after i've already given the score the mission map it used to be that you'd get a map and it'd show like four areas and you have to defeat these four areas to get to the boss like on this one now it just shows you a map and it tells you what mission you've got to do and you do that mission and it shows you the next one what is the point in the map yeah, yeah, if it's just leading you through. So, so yeah, so for that reason, this one got 3 out of 10. Really disappointed. I would not waste your time, but as always, the link will be in the description below. Um, so, yeah, I just... I hate when stuff does that, when you've got something that's really good, and then, you know, they release a sequel, and it's just shite. I really hate stuff like that. It's, um, it's that thing, though, it's Call of Duty effect. You run yeah. out of stuff, don't you? Ideas and that, and then you wash it down. And the thing is, I can't remember when the other Marvel game was. I, I feel like it was quite a while back. Um, and it's just such a shame that so much time has passed. So the last one was released in 2012, March 2012. It came out. This one's March 2016, and I just feel like they would have just been better off releasing the other one again. But yeah, so moving on from the app, um, I just want to give a shout out to Kendall. So those might have seen it on YouTube. I done the unboxing as she sent us. Um, some stuff to give away to celebrate us getting over a thousand views uh, total on our YouTube. We thought, oh, we'll have another giveaway. So we're gonna have one on the page. I'm gonna put it up this week. We're gonna run it the same way as we did last time. Uh, me and Squeak have been talking about ways to do it. I kind of feel like at the moment, whilst we're doing this, whilst there's still like you know quite a small collection of people, it's really easy to do. Where literally, I'm gonna put up a picture, and those that like it will be entered into the draw. Um, I think what should we should we do? What should we do as a cut off date, Squeak? Um, so this episode's um, the 4th of April so shall we say we will give two weeks two weeks so the twif the twif that was the 25th in one syllable the 25th of April we will do the draw <laughs> so a picture will be up look out for it remember to like the picture on the original post and then we will do it again uh, do you reckon we'll have as many rollovers squeak I think we'll get quite uh, a few again uh, yeah although I'm hoping not <laughs> but I, I reckon we will but I don't know. It's really cool. Like I want that. Yeah. Oh, it, it does look so. Well, you know, I won't mention what I got. You will see it in the video. But I got my own little gift, which was nice. So thank you so much for that, Kendall. Um, as always, like you know, you guys can go check out her stuff. I have links to her stuff below as well because she does all sorts of cool uh, little tidbits. It's it's one of those like after I after I saw the video, I was like, well, gel. It's fucking shit that I'm broke. <laughs> 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 um, yeah, so guys, get at us on all the different mediums. So you can get us on Twitter at uwhat underscore. We're on Facebook, facebook.com slash uwhatpodcast. Podomatic, uwhat.podomatic.com. You're watching us on YouTube. I'm hoping youtube.com slash uwhat. We have our blog, which is uwhat.tk. I really want people to give us feedback. We still want people to put their names forward to take on Squeak in hashtag 30. Um, so get us on the email, uh, uwhatmail at gmail.com. Squeak, can you believe, mate? This is 26 weeks. Like, we've been doing this for six months now. Really? Yeah, we're, we're at half a year. This is our half year anniversary. Woo! Um, I think we should have done more now. But it's, it's half a year, so you do a half ass job. <laughs> Don't we always? <laughs> no, professionally, professionally, mate. 100% <laughs> all the time, no slowdown. <laughs> 
Um, do, do you have anything else for the people before we wrap up? Um, Now's your time. We haven't done a question if you want to ask them a question. We haven't done a question, but it's not really a fun question, but I just want to know what people think about the PlayStation 4.5. Would okay. you get one? If you've already got a PlayStation, would you consider trading it in and upgrading, things like that? Just... Yeah. Okay, right. so we want your opinions on the PS4.5. If you don't want to put it on the Facebook and you don't want to put it on the Twitter, as always, you can get us. Uh, well, get us. You can speak to us on YouTube or you want mail at oh, gmail dot yes. com. Um, so yeah, so that does it for this week. So as always, I've been Jace. He's been Squeak, and we'll see you next week. Later.